By now, you've probably heard that what happens in our gut has a profound impact on virtually every system in the body. In previous videos, I've talked about the gut-brain axis, gut-skin axis, gut-heart axis, gut-bone axis, and gut-lung axis. There's even a gut-eye axis, which describes the connection between the gut and ocular health. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the gut-immune axis. I'll explain how it works and why it's so important. And I'll also share some tips on how to support it with both diet and supplements. I've come to believe that this is one of the most important places to focus our attention if we want to improve our health and extend our lifespan. Ready? Let's dive in. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Kresser with another Tuesday tip for you. Gut health is foundational to overall well-being because the gut plays a central role in nutrient digestion, absorption, and waste elimination, ensuring our body receives everything it needs for daily functioning while keeping out toxins, pathogens, and other antigens that may cause harm. The gut is also home to trillions of microorganisms known as the gut microbiota, which perform essential metabolic tasks, assist in the breakdown of complex foods, and produce critical vitamins. A balanced gut microbiota protects against pathogens and supports immune regulation. An unhealthy or imbalanced gut can lead to a range of problems from malabsorption and inflammation to increased susceptibility to infections and even chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes and autoimmune conditions. The immune system is the body's primary defense against foreign invaders like pathogens, bacteria, viruses, fungi, environmental toxins, and antigens. It protects against potentially harmful changes in our cells like cancer and hyperactive responses to our tissues like autoimmunity. The immune system is also involved in wound healing and inflammation. And as you know, chronic inflammation is at the root of virtually all modern disease. The gut and the immune system communicate constantly through the gut immune axis. This dynamic interplay involves intricate molecular signaling, cellular interactions, and immune responses. It's like a hidden network connecting our digestive tract to our immune defenses. So it's no exaggeration to suggest that nourishing and supporting our gut immune axis is one of the most important things we can do to improve our health and extend our longevity. There are five pillars for doing this. The first is diet, which means consuming foods that nourish the gut and support immunity. The second is supplements, taking specific gut immune nutrients and superfoods like probiotics, prebiotics, colostrum, lactoferrin, beta-glucan, zinc, vitamin D, etc. The third is getting high quality sleep, since sleep supports the gut and immune system and is when the body conducts crucial repair and maintenance work. The fourth is managing stress. Chronic stress can disrupt the gut immune axis in several ways. Implementing stress reduction techniques like meditation, deep breathing exercises, or yoga can help promote a healthier gut immune balance. The fifth is regular physical activity. Exercise stimulates immune function and promotes gut health in several ways. I've written and spoken about diet, sleep, stress management, and physical activity at length over the past 15 years. You can refer to my website, chriscresser.com, for lots of free resources on these topics. In this episode, I'll focus on three lesser known but highly effective nutrients and superfoods for supporting the gut immune axis, colostrum, lactoferrin, and beta-glucan. Colostrum is the nutrient-rich fluid female mammals produce in the first few days after giving birth. It serves as the first source of nourishment for newborns and is packed with essential nutrients, antibodies, growth factors, and other bioactive compounds. Mammals have been around for about 200 million years, and colostrum is still, after all that time and evolutionary pressure, the first food that every mammal on the planet gets after birth. That should tell us something about its nutritional value and health benefits. It's rich in antibodies like IgA and IgG that act as a first-line defense against pathogens. It contains immune factors like lactoferrin, lysozyme, and cytokines that are antimicrobial and protect the body against infections. It fine-tunes the immune response, preventing it from overreacting to harmless substances and reducing the risk of allergies and autoimmune disorders. Colostrum also supports the integrity of the gut barrier and nourishes the gut microbiome. Now you can see why colostrum is Mother Nature's perfect first food. 
Lactoferrin is a protein in mammalian milk, tears, saliva, and other bodily secretions. It plays a vital role in defending against microbial invaders, promoting gut health, and enhancing the immune system's effectiveness. Lactoferrin is best known for its ability to bind to iron with high affinity. Iron is an essential nutrient for many microorganisms, including pathogenic bacteria. By sequestering iron in the gut, lactoferrin restricts the growth and proliferation of harmful bacteria, effectively acting as a natural antibiotic. Lactoferrin is also directly antimicrobial. It disrupts the integrity of microbial cell membranes, preventing their entry and colonization in the gut. Lactoferrin has potent anti-inflammatory properties. It inhibits the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines and promotes the production of anti-inflammatory molecules. Finally, like colostrum, lactoferrin protects the gut barrier, nourishes the microbiome, and helps to balance and regulate the immune system. Though not directly related to the topic of the gut immune axis, it's worth noting that lactoferrin is a more bioavailable source of iron than other typical iron supplements or even food sources. It has a greater ability to bind iron than other transferrins and is the only one capable of binding iron over a wide pH range. Lactoferrin binds the iron already present in the body, helping the body to utilize and absorb it more efficiently. One study showed that it increased iron levels by nearly sixfold compared to other iron sources. What's more, it does this without causing the GI side effects like abdominal pain, bloating, and constipation that most iron supplements are associated with. Lactoferrin can be a very useful supplement if you're iron deficient. I've used it in my practice for this with great success. Last but not least is beta-glucan. Beta-glucans are naturally occurring polysaccharides or long sugar molecules that are energy stores and structural components of plant, algae, fungi, and bacterial cell walls. They're found in various foods and substances in the diet, such as oats, mushrooms, and yeast. But the specific structure of beta-glucans differs from food to food, and not all have the same health benefits. We'll come back to this in a moment. The immune system consists of two primary components. Innate immunity involves a rapid, non-specific response to a pathogen or threat. Inflammation is part of this response. And that's followed by a slower but more specific and targeted response known as adaptive or acquired immunity. Beta-glucans help to prime innate immune cells. They trigger a cascade of responses that make the immune system function more efficiently. They stimulate the activity of macrophages, which are cells that destroy invading pathogens and trigger other immune cells to attack. Macrophages also release cytokines that enable immune cells to communicate with one another. Beta-glucans also stimulate lymphocytes that bind to tumors or viruses and release chemicals to destroy them. Beta-glucans are known as biological response modifiers, a class of compounds that regulate immune function. Many compounds and medications that affect immune function either suppress or boost it. For example, steroids are used to globally suppress a hyperactive immune response in people with autoimmune disease. While suppressing the immune system can relieve the symptoms of these conditions, the obvious downside is that it reduces immune defense against pathogens and cancer. On the other hand, some botanicals like echinacea and astragalus boost the immune response. This can support our defense against infections caused by viruses and other pathogens, but the problem with boosting is when it goes beyond supporting and causes overstimulation. This can manifest as autoimmunity, allergies, asthma, or other immune-related dysfunctions in people with autoimmune disease or who have some other form of hyperactive immune response like allergies. Biological response modifiers, including beta-glucans, fundamentally differ from immune-suppressing or immune-boosting compounds. They support innate immunity by priming and training the body's innate immune cells to react more quickly when a pathogen is detected. Training the immune system refers to a newly recognized phenomenon that occurs when innate immune cells encounter specific pieces of microbes, either living or non-living, causing the cells to adopt a more effective response to a future threat. In essence, this means that the innate immune cells retain a memory of the experience that allows them to respond more quickly and effectively when they encounter another pathogen. 
This more general effect is essential for immune defense because it protects against pathogens we've never encountered before. Decades of research have shown that these three supernutrients, colostrum, lactoferrin, and beta-glucan, support the gut immune axis and improve our health in numerous ways. I've used them for over 15 years as a functional medicine clinician with great success. They are both powerful and effective and gentle and safe, a rare combination. So let's finish up by talking about how you can get the benefits of these three potent compounds. Colostrum is present in the milk of mammals, but only for a few days after they're born. It's not part of the regular dairy production process, so you won't find it in milk, cheese, or other dairy products that you can buy in the store. You'll need to supplement with it. It's important to choose colostrum from pasture-raised cows as it will contain higher levels of immunoglobulins and other immune factors and is free of hormones, antibiotics, and GMOs. Also, note that most studies documenting the benefits of colostrum for the gut immune axis used a dose of at least 2 grams per day. Many colostrum supplements on the market contain only 500 milligrams to 1 gram per serving. Colostrum should preferably be taken with 6 to 8 ounces of water on an empty stomach 30 to 45 minutes before or 2 hours after a meal. That's not a hard and fast rule. If you miss the chance to take it on an empty stomach, you'll still benefit by taking it with a meal. But it's generally best to aim for taking it without food. Lactoferrin is present in small amounts in dairy products like cheese and yogurt and to a lesser degree in beef and other meats. Dairy and meat from pasture-raised cows, again, will tend to have higher levels of lactoferrin. That said, if you want to get meaningful amounts of lactoferrin, you'll need to supplement unless you're consuming very large amounts of pasture-raised dairy products. Beta-glucans are found primarily in grains like oats and barley, mushrooms and yeast. However, as I mentioned earlier, beta-glucans from grains do not have the same health impacts as those from mushrooms and yeast. For example, while oat-derived beta-glucans have been shown to act as dietary fibers that improve metabolic health, they do not have the immunomodulatory effects of yeast and mushroom-derived beta-glucans. Only beta-glucans with a high degree of branching, like those from fungi and yeast, act as biological response modifiers and have a strong effect on the immune system. Consuming a wide variety of mushrooms like chanterelle, shiitake, and lion's mane is the best dietary strategy for getting these immune benefits of beta-glucans. However, supplementation may be the most reliable way to ensure high beta-glucan intake, especially if you don't regularly consume mushrooms. And some of the mushrooms with the highest beta-glucan content, like turkey tail and reishi, are unfortunately not great to eat. They're either tough or bitter or very chewy. So you have two options here, mushrooms and yeast beta-glucans. I've discussed the benefits of supplementing with mushrooms on my blog and podcast, so please refer to those for more information. My favorite yeast-derived beta-glucan ingredient is Wellmune. Now, this is not a supplement itself. It's an ingredient that some supplement manufacturers use in their products. It's made from the cell wall of a proprietary strain of baker's yeast. It's quickly taken into the body through specialized immune tissue in the intestines, where immune cells engulf it and degrade it into smaller fragments that bind to neutrophils. Primed by Wellmune, neutrophils then move quickly to recognize and kill foreign challenges. If you're interested in supporting your gut immune access with the nutrients we've discussed in this episode, visit adaptnaturals.com. This line was born from my 15 years of experience treating thousands of patients and training more than 2,000 healthcare providers in over 50 countries. Our products are made with bioavailable, evidence-based ingredients you can trust, and they're manufactured in a U.S. CGMP facility. Go to adaptnaturals.com to learn more. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.